Good afternoon, traders. Today is April 8th, 2019. My name is Alejandro Zambrano. Let's take a look at gold prices. They were on their way down just the day before known from payrolls. It looked like they were going to trigger a massive head and shoulders pattern. But today, it looks like that pattern is not going to be triggered anytime soon. So let's take a look at the charts to see what may lay ahead for gold prices. This is your daily chart. And as you can clearly see here, we were dealing with the head and shoulders. You have yourself a head up here. And, and that's the high from uh, May or February 20th. Then you have uh, your uh, left shoulder here created in January. And then you had uh, right shoulder here created in March. Now, despite the normal payrolls numbers being good, we're seeing a bit of, uh, you know, metal prices in general increasing, in particular platinum, if you check that out. Also, commodity markets with uh, crude oil going upwards and then stock markets as well. And it looks to me that right now that gold is just sort of tagging along with those markets. And we're seeing here that the price on Friday posted uh, a bearish, ca like so, sort of a, a bearish negative close for the day, but otherwise a bit of a pin bar, which sort of indicates further gains. And that's what we're seeing right now here today. So we're not anywhere close of really taking out uh, the uh, neckline here, which is the March low at uh, 1,280. But I'm watching this, as you can see, I put a little alert even. So if the market does trade below that level, I still think we can trade substantially lower. Now, instead, the way this looks right now, it can probably hit a little bit higher, maybe 1,310. It looks to me that we are maybe in some sort of a triangle and these can break either way. There's also another interpretation, which is called the failed head and shoulders pattern. And it's what's quite interesting, it doesn't really matter if you do it, treat this as a triangle or treat this as a failed head and shoulders pattern. Um, now, the failed head and shoulders pattern works out that when we trade above the right shoulder, then that would be a failed head and shoulders. And the target there would be the difference from the neckline up to the head. So if we take out something like the high here from, uh, the high here from uh, March 25th, then that could potentially indicate that we're going to trade much, much, much higher. Now, uh, the target itself would be uh, something like 1,392. Um, and what's quite interesting as well is that even if we treat this as a triangle, the target is more or less going to be the same, except that we don't take it from this level. We take it from whatever level or their uh, trend line breaks. As for trading triangles in general, I don't trade them. I try to avoid... Uh, things that have some sort of a trend line with the exception of head and shoulders uh, and if I trade something for example like an ascending triangle well I only trade the horizontal part I like to put my entries and stops and things like that at big levels that everybody sort of understands and the levels that matter most for people which is right now again 1280 I think that is still the most important uh, level because of the head and shoulders pattern and as you can probably guess there's a ton of stop loss orders just below here on Friday and Thursday and a bunch of other stop loss orders also here because of the fact that we have the March low here. Let's see what happens over the next few days. As for gold, I'm not sure exactly if there's going to be any driver. We don't really have any extremely important US data, but for the euro, we do have uh, the ECB rate meeting coming up on Wednesday and the euro is also moving up higher, much like uh, gold prices. But uh, come Wednesday, maybe, and I suspect actually that the ECB is going to be a bit dovish. And that could potentially send the euro dollar down to a new 2019 low. And that could potentially lead to gold as well, tagging along there, if that were to happen. The way things look right now, it looks like the euro dollar and gold prices are going to trade sideways for longer. If you have any questions, reach out to me via Twitter at AlexFX00. As well, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for our morning daily uh, morning uh, brief and as well daily videos like these ones. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks.